Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the weekday function to create a simple timesheet. So on the screen, I have a small sample of a timesheet. And what I'm going to do is change the date. And what will happen is different amounts will go into these three columns. So at the moment, it says nine hours on a Monday and I've got this set up that eight hours will be normal pay and then one hour overtime. So if I put that to 10 hours, two hours overtime, eight hours normal pay. Now, if I change that to a Sunday, which is the first, all of that goes into rate two area. So it gets like triple time in, in on Sundays. If I go to Saturday, everything goes into rate one for Saturday. So whatever rate one is. So you get in this switching around. So any working day, it just works like so. And if I have five hours, all of that goes in normal pay. There's no overtime there because the baseline for overtime is eight hours. So eight hours stays there. Nine hours splits between normal pay and rate one. So that's what I want to recreate. I've got the formulas here for you so you can see how that is working. And it's color coded as well so you can match them yourself so if I just copy this bit copy and paste it down here and then I've still got the drop down list there and I'll just delete these formulas and then redo them for you so this is a just a list of dates that I've got on sheet two just did a validity validity uh, list so I can just select more than one date so the first one is the longest one. So I'm using if or, but before I do any of this, I need to explain what the weekday function does and then what the or and the if function do. So if I do control semicolon, that's today's date. So the weekday function, if I go equals weekday, open the bracket and then click on that, close the bracket and click the tick, that will tell me what day of the week it is change that to general so it's just a one so we're on a Sunday uh, Sunday is the first day of the week that's what the default is you can actually change that through the function wizard but that's okay for me if you change that to the second so it's a Monday just change that to the second tick it's the second day of the week so that's what the weekday function does what the all function does it just basically checks whether any of these so there's the or, or there if weekday a3 is one which is sunday or weekday a3 which is seven if either of those are true do nothing so when you use the or function it's going to return return true or false depending on whether any of these criteria are true whereas the and function would mean every single one would need to be true so that's what that is doing and then the if statement basically as a test if that test is true then you've got a true action if that test is false you've got a false action so this is an if or so this is just an if so there you've got if or so if any of those are true do what nothing and then the negative is another if so that is basically how the if statement works this one's probably a bit easier to look at. So it says there, if weekday A3 equals 1, which is Sunday, true bit is B3, false bit is 0. That's the standard if statement on its own. This one's a bit more complicated because it's got nested functions. But this is the weekday function that we're focusing on in this one. And this first normal pay needs to be following this sort of structure. So it is equals if or. So let's just type that in, equals if open the bracket or open the bracket so now the first thing is the weekday if weekday in this case it's a 10 open the bracket if weekday a 10 is equal to 1 which is a Sunday and then we've got the or so it's a comma or weekday a10 is equal to 7, let's say Saturday, if either of them are true, either of them are true, I need to close the or bracket, 
comma, this is the if now, do nothing. So if either of those are true, Saturday or Sunday, do nothing, comma, so this is the next part of the another if, if B10 is less than 8, less or equal to 8, so I'll just put that in there, so if B10 is less than or equal to 8, 8 hours, if that's true, just B10, so that's when they've done less than 8 hours, otherwise you want it to put 8 in there, then you have to close the two if brackets and then click the tick. So that's saying eight. You don't want it to say you don't want it to say nine. So the next one is this one. So this time we're doing if weekday is a, a Sunday or a Saturday, just put B3 in. So that's the overtime. In fact it says there, sorry I said that wrong. If B3 if A3 is equal to one, which is a Sunday, do nothing. You don't want Sundays in here, it's just Saturdays. If it's if it's Saturdays, you put B3 in here. So let's have a look at this one. So it's equals if weekday A10 again is equal to 1, which is a Sunday, do nothing because they get a different rate, comma, if weekday, open bracket, weekday A10 is equal to 7, which is a Saturday, comma, A in there, paid hours, so it's B10, comma, so we've got B10 there, and then we're doing another if statement here, so comma, doing a comma already, so if B10 is greater than 8, comma, that's the test, B10 minus 8, comma 0. And then you close in the if for that, and then the other if and the other if. So three ifs you got there. Tick that, and I'll do the typo. Yeah, missed the bracket off. So that's that one. So let's go for Saturday, see what happens, see what make that work. Saturday 7th, normal pay, so something's gone wrong there, okay, made a mistake there, so that should say equals 1, comma 0, comma 0, and comma if, let's try that one, that's it, that works, so that was Saturday, so it's pulled that across. The last one is this one, a bit more simplistic. We're just looking for Sunday. So equals if weekday A10 equals one, which means it's a Sunday. We want it to just pick B10. Otherwise do nothing, close the bracket. That's a straightforward if. Now, if we change that to a Sunday, which is today, that's gone straight to nine. That's great. So if I go five hours and change that to a Monday, it goes into that column. If I do nine hours, it goes over. If I change that to Saturday, which is the seventh, it all goes in there. So what happens usually is what happened to me there, you miss a comma, you miss a bracket, and then it's just a case of checking it. And I like to copy these formulas out so you can actually see what you're doing uh, and it, where, where there's obviously a missed, a missed number. And that was the computer correcting this one for me. So hopefully that's of use. That is the correct, those are the correct formulas. That will work if that's the criteria that you require. Thank you for your time on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.